Oh, you son of a gun, you were just working. You're embarrassing me in front of all my YouTube viewers. Oh my gosh, how dare you. Hi everybody, I'm Alan from You Do AV. And today we're going to learn how to check our AV cables. So since we do have the ability to make our own wires, um, sometimes you can have problems. Sometimes these connectors can go bad. Sometimes the wire's bad. Maybe it's not a wire that you made. Maybe it's a wire that you bought. Those can sometimes have problems too. I've seen that before too. So we need to be able to check these wires because when it's all said and done, you might be having a problem that you're chasing for hours. You can't figure it out. Check your wires. Just double check. So um, what I'm using, there's a lot of different ways to do it. <clears throat> I'm using a meter. It's a regular electrical meter, a digital multimeter. And I have the meter on the setting right here. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like a little horn. Um, it's actually the diode check set uh, mode, but uh, it also works for this. So anytime that these leads touch each other, you can hear that beep. That's called a short. Okay, my meter kind of sucks, but the new meters, they are nicer new meter. will have a good strong beep. Mine's kind of wimpy, but you can hear it. Every time the needles touch, every time there's a short, you hear the beep. Okay, so on this wire, the first thing I want to know is does this tip right here reach this tip over here? Maybe this wire is 200 feet long. I need to know if that tip touches this tip. And I know you're wondering, well, how in the world, if it's 200 feet long, are you going to check both ends at the same time? We'll get into that. Um, but for now, I want to know if that tip reaches that tip. So all I'm going to do is take one end, doesn't matter the color, any color you want. I'm going to put it on one tip without touching the outside. I'm only going to touch the tip. I'm not going to touch the tip and the outside, just the tip. Okay, right there. And then if I touch this tip over here, it should beep. Look at that. That means I have a good strong signal from tip to tip. Okay. Next, I'm going to check the outside. I also have to have a good strong signal from outside to outside. So we'll do the same thing. I'm going to touch the outside, touch the outside. Oh my gosh. So far, so good. Now, I want to make sure that my wire doesn't have a short in it. Meaning, I want to make sure that when we did that braiding, um, that none of the braids are touching the tip or that there's no nick inside the wire or uh, there's a lot of things that can happen. Maybe during the drywall um, phase, people, somebody stuck a screw through your wire and it went through the outside jacket right through your center conductor. That happens, that's happened too many times. So I need to check for shorts, okay? I wanna make sure that the outside is not touching the inside. So I'm gonna take the outside, I'm gonna touch the outside here and I'm gonna touch the inside over here. Nothing, perfect. Inside over here, nothing, perfect. And if I just wanna make sure and I'm gonna put this wire, so I can set this up. So I've got this wire right here, it's touching the black one in the middle, this tip is touching the black, and the red is gonna to touch, oh, there, the red is touching the outside, okay? Black is touching the tip, red is touching the outside. Now I'm gonna take this wire right here, just a little piece of copper, and I'm gonna to touch this wire to the inside and outside, and that should make it beep. Ah, oh, what a terrible meter. I know it works, but get in there. Oh, you son of a gun, you were just working. You're embarrassing me in front of all my YouTube viewers. Oh my gosh, how dare you? There we go. Okay. So what that just told me is that when I, touch the, when I touch this to the tip and this to the outside and it did not beep, that tells me that there's no short. And just to confirm that everything's good, when I touch the black to the tip here and the red to the outside here, and then shorted them on this side over here, that double confirmed that this wire is good. So now I know that this wire is good. So let me go back and answer the question, what if this thing is 200 feet long and there's somebody in the closet and there's somebody in the closet on one side and I'm over here by the TV on the other side. How do we check it then, Alan? Oh, master genius. How do we check it again? All right, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. We're gonna check it the same way that we just did. We're gonna go like this, touch the black to the front, touch the red to the side and if it does not beep, 
we know that we're, there's no short, right? Then if I take this wire here, that little copper wire, it's the same test. I'm gonna give this to my buddy and I'm gonna say, hey buddy, go into that closet and take this wire and touch the wire one end to the tip and one end to the jacket. And I should hear it beep, just like that. If I hear it beep on my side, that means that the wire is complete, right? That means that this tip made it all the way out to the other tip, that this outside made it all the way to the other side. And then when he takes this and touches them together, that makes it beep because the circuit's complete. So that's how you check your uh, own custom cabling. Now you can do this for RCA cables. This works for coax cables, for BNC cables, whatever it's gonna be. If you guys have questions, let me know. Um, there are other ways to do this, okay? Don't start commenting, dude, that's the hard way. There's a lot of ways to do this. You can do it with a tone generator. You can do it, oh gosh, there's, there's a ton of different ways that you can continuity tester and checkers and there's a million different ways that you can do it. Um, this is the way I picked. So uh, if you have questions or comments, please comment below and subscribe. Uh, I'm Alan and today we did AV. Now you do AV.